documents reveal domestic abuse and child neglect claims against Jeezy. Man, this shit just... Shoot, dog. It's my, I mean, listen, <clears throat> yeah, G- Jeezy is better than Gucci, man. We're going to start off right now. Jeezy. First of all, you can get uppercutted. Uh, three minutes into the podcast, <laughs> whatever, man. This is what I say, man. I always say, never trust a COVID relationship because this is what happens, man. You meet a girl during COVID time, and then two years later, you got a divorce. Everything she said she loved about you, now she hate. She hate the way you smell. She hate the way you chew your gum. She hate the way you walk. She hate the way you breathe. And it's just, it's just so disrespectful because we already know, like, if Jeezy ain't filed this, this uh divorce. <clears throat> She would have lived with it. She would have bit the bullet. It would have been perfectly fine. But, hey, man, we got court documents here of the new new information that got released in the whole Jeezy and Jeannie May uh, divorce trial. So it says sensitive content that she submits images of Jeezy with an AK in divorce mm-hmm. battle after GC denies child neglect is what uh, she's saying. I know, it's basically, and she she's also saying a lot more than that. She's also saying that like, there was a golf cart incident where um where Jeezy uh Jeezy crashed and she got injured. There was a time where uh, Jeezy oh. choked her. Choked well, speaking up. of choking, you need to choke that like button. Oh. Choke it real hard. Um, but also, thank you for 1.5k subs on this channel. Thank y'all, man. Really, thank y'all. I mean, uh, uh, crib reactions is about to hit nine nine k. <laughs> so I don't know what y'all are doing. Y'all need to hit. Y'all need to catch up. Whatever, man. We gonna catch up. But here, man, we got Jeannie. This is the OG channel. How are we behind? Horrible. We got Genie. TFTC clips. I think is at like one point six five k. Even TFTC clips passed us. I'm about to pass that one. Pass what? We'll talk, we'll talk about that later. But hey, man, Genie, my this, we got a video here of Genie, my basically telling you how good it was before this tragic, tragic situation happened. Along, if you watch the video, a whole bunch of file documents, basically what's going on, and we gonna break it down later. Okay, I have to tell you, um, man, this is crazy because I haven't talked to anybody about this yeah. like, on a public level besides my friends and family. Man, I have to tell you that getting to know Jay, you guys know him as Jeezy, he's Jay to me. Getting to know Jeezy, him has been one of the most the beautiful experiences of my life. Aww. There was uh, lies and deceptions. He's just, for those of you who've been fans with him for a long time, know that I, I just got to know him in November. So he's introspective, he's passionate, he's incredibly deep, he's a visionary, he's a great leader, he's an amazing servant to his community. And as Pookie Lowe is what's he great crazy leader. is that <laughs> the things that I've been criticized for That's my funny. whole life and my past relationships, Jeannie, you're too deep. You think about things too much. Like, why does everything got to have Burn. a purpose? And I'm not one for small talk or small conversations. I want to know, why do you think the way you do? What, what brought you to look at things the way you do? Mm-hmm. Who are you? What's, who's important to you? And I found my equal. <gasps> oh. I, oh. So how, you mean, how you say, her equal is the snowman, but you know what was she doing? Nah, basically, man, you everybody already know, man. You already knew Jenny wasn't she right was in the head screens. once she said that. I like my I like my dark meat on the side, man. You never trust a girl to say she like a dark meat on the side, which basically means, in my eyes, that you know she gonna she gonna marry she gonna marry a white guy, but you know when she wanna have fun, she gonna mess with the dark meat. And I mean, she didn't want to have a baby at first, but then as soon as she started talking mm-hmm. to D- Jeezy, she's like, "Oh, I want to have a I baby." I think that's why she wanted a divorce. She wanted to go back to the white meat. I don't. I mean, he wanted. He filed for the divorce. She didn't file for the divorce. You know, it's the best meat. What? Horrible. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This guy knows what the best. No, Horrible. Just... <laughs> so basically, so basically, like all these issues that she's saying he's having with Jeezy. Oh yeah, he choked me up at the Ritz Carlton, or like one time at the Atlanta Mayor Ball. She was like, she disappeared for like twenty five minutes with her friend. Don't know where she went. As soon as she came back, Jeezy was like, "Let's go." They went in the car. He said, uh, he started talking to her. He grabbed her. He scratched her. He scrapped her uh, left bosom. Exactly. I have to say buttocks. I'm tripping. Oh, it wasn't her butt. It was no, her chest. It's her right? chest. Yeah, her bosom. <clears throat> so I mean, after all that, if all that stuff going down, all I gotta say is, Gavin, like, how long do you have to wait before you get married? Because I mean, clearly they ain't wait long enough because they don't, they don't know each other at all. You asking the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 how long, how long would you wait? I'm saying like, I would say like five years. Like, I mean, after once, well, like, not five years. I'm tripping. Like, it's like once you like know somebody, like know somebody, like know how they act when they're happy. Yeah, sad, yeah. Mad. I mean, if someone's acting correct. I would say like uh, two to three years. Yeah, exactly. Because you want to know how to act when like one. But if someone's not acting correct, sometimes seven ain't even enough. Facts, man. I, the the twenty be engaged for like ten years. 
Be like those people. Sometimes you just gotta be thankful you're Some, touchable. And sometimes you know, sometimes you just gotta give her engagement ring and shut her up and never set a date. Coach, you playing the long ball game. I like your style. Do I have an applause button? Damn, son, where'd you find this? I'll give you one of those. I approve. Oh, horrible, nah. Yeah, that's what you do. You get him to year seven. And but then you get him the ring him, at year three. Get him in agent. No, you get him the year. You know, you get him the ring in year five. You got to do it before that, so they now you get mad. They get mad. You get like four. They don't get. They don't get mad until like year five. Five. Close to yeah. five, so it's four. It's four and a half. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> and then, uh, and then you can, you can try to squeeze out another three years, and really make sure that this girl's not crazy. They are crazy. When you're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but okay. So back to the story at hand. So it's crazy. At the end of the day, she belongs to the streets. Facts. At the end, of the, I mean, like he they didn't know each other at all. I mean, like you see now, Jeezy saying Jeannie acts like her mom. Her mom's really combative. She's always her mom's like the head of the is household. That, is, that, is that gaslighting? I mean, I guess. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, she's saying, and then Jeezy's over here saying also that he was. He's not. He wasn't. He didn't know that when he married her that he had to marry the brother and the mama, basically, because you know. With her, with her, basically what her culture. Kind of weird. They say culture. Is that? They, it's her culture. Her culture, like you know, they take care. They all, they live with their family. They're the big. Um, the big. the richest like takes on the family. No, what culture is Jeannie? My, I don't want to say the wrong thing. I would say Korean, but I'm not sure if she's Philippine. She's Asian. You can just she's say a, Asian. The Asian culture, you know, the Asian culture. Um, they, <clears throat> they take care I, of their brothers and sisters and their grandmas. I mean, yeah. I mean, you you see that a lot. I mean. Really, you know, a lot of races, but some more than others. And let's just say that, so we don't have to break it down. But they are no, more known for like, oh, when your parents get old, you like you you uh, move them in with you, and you take care of them until they pass away. True. Uh, some people, some cultures, like they truly, truly believe in that. So I can kind of understand be like, oh, I married you, and I thought we're gonna have all this me and you time, but instead, it's like. Every morning I'm seeing you make breakfast for your mom. Exactly. You know, and it's like, you know, it's like, well, it's our house, but it's like, there's always other people here. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm just trying to chill. Like, I don't know, but I think both of them are superstars enough mm -hmm. that they could literally buy like a giant house uh, that had like almost separate areas uh, enough to where you didn't notice or get like a condo, man, and or, like buy a, buy each side. And then, you know, it's like yeah, they, you, you literally got to go out the door to go into like their unit and you could have a unit for like the mom, the brother, the cousin, whoever needs, uh, whoever they're taking care of. Oh, basically have like uh, the grandma, <clears throat> the grandma and the brother in the guest house. But you already know she's yeah. over there. You know, you, I mean, like, yeah, a guest house that's walking distance, a condo on the other side an apartment next door, depending on what city or state that they're living in, you know. So, you know, they could do all of the above and make that easier. True. I mean, they're literally rich enough. I don't understand why that they would let that, like, be I mean, a big problem. I mean, true. I don't it know about That's how you would fix it. True. That's how you would fix it. Also, I mean, it, it did get real It did get real bad in the beginning. Cause, they I mean, didn't want to fix it. At first, yeah, they didn't want to fix it. Jeezy wanted to leave. Jeezy at first wanted in full custody because she's like, Jeannie's never there. She's always working. She's just going to give the kids, the kids to the mom. Uh, well, we know Jeezy's not working. He the snowman. Of course not. He's gonna have to go back to the streets like the juice. Right, that's what he's doing all his interviews, writing mm. these books. So I mean, and this is just crazy. Like he, gets, he wrote what, uh, like uh, he, biography books. He had a book. Yeah, he had a book. Yeah, and also like I read his biography book. He was he was basically uh, followed by the cops a lot. He basically didn't trust any of his friends. He had a he had an apartment downtown what in was Atlanta. He doing? I mean, this is basically like when he was leaving the whole trap game with BMF. He talks about all that. He talks about how he was a military kid in Hawaii. Talks about how he went to, um, how he used to steal and everything. So I mean, even if she read his book, she could have read his book and known that this isn't the man for me. But you still married him, and then he married her, knowing that okay, mostly like you said, mostly in their culture, they're known for taking a care of their mom and everybody. So if you should have known that was a problem, so I don't even know why I even went I mean, ahead with yeah, it. Yeah, I don't. I mean, why was that not discussed? But I guess because I guess because they got pregnant, she got pregnant. And like she ain't one like a like a whore, so you know I'm, I'm just saying keep it how it is. It's in the Bible. How it's, far? Oh, we're twelve minutes in. What you mean? It's in the Bible. You can't hit me for that. You hit me for that for real? I'm gonna hit you with emotional damage. So you said that's the, what you're giving. So it. what you saying? The Bible is emotional damage because the Bible says put the ring on it before you have the baby. But they clearly you went the opposite way around. Allegedly. 
All right, well, but I, mean, I don't know why I'm remembering to use the soundboard. Half the time, I don't, I don't even remember to <laughs> push it. I'll just be talking. Oh, all right. But well, if you're watching this on TATC Clips, go over to Tales from the Crib so mm-hmm. you can uh, get the video as soon as it comes out and make sure it's in full 1080p on Tales from the Crib because on TATC Clips, I never know if my co-host remembers to record in 1080 so I mean, after after going through this situation, is there any safety in the game? Can I can I have a kid without having to worry about being put on child support? It's just like dumb, like Jesse I J. Mean, you you think, most likely end up on child support. I think it's at a point where it's just like you got to get to the age where you want one, and be like, even if it doesn't work out, like I just know what it's going to cost to have a child. Oh, it costs money. Hey, and is that you know you know also the bad part is sometimes like, you just got to find a baddie and get her pregnant. True, and you know it's the bad part. Like the fact that she has these photos and everything. It's not like he got a divorce. Then she went and had these photos and all this other stuff. Like she what, had what photos? The photos of Jeezy with the chopper everywhere and guns and it on on the floor. I mean, it's chopper of the year one year. What is she? But expect? think about it. Like I hate when people are like I hate your past. I hate you a gangster, but I like that you're tough. But th- I'm like I don't understand. But think about it, like when you talk, you ever had a girl talk to you and call you a manipulator and everything? Like, oh, when she's mad at you, like, oh yeah, you manipulator, or she calls you like, uh, or like you're a pig, or like you have no feelings, or she calls you like. I mean, g- girls will just go for the jugular if you're arguing with them. They they literally say anything, and they call you sneaky and everything. <clears throat> you call cheating, but at the same time, when you get in divorce with them, all the evidence come out. Like she had she had pictures of you and your guns on the floor on the bed. Have photos of you like walking around with the chopper. Like, how you got this from like three years ago? Like, I mean, that's, no, that's clearly sneaky. That's, that's home protection. Or like, like uh, what's wrong with home protection? Or like, yeah, basically, or like, oh, we're in she, Texas, we believe in home. Protection. Or like, she pull up like old phone. Like, you ever had a girl video record and a phone record you? Oh, and they call you sneaky. Like, how am I sneaky? I don't you know if I've ever had one of any of uh, a phone conversation I ever recorded. You never know. What if I mean, you did? I don't know. I mean, someone could have. Well, I mean, you, I, I guess I never know at the end of the day. Until you get in trouble. But I, I ain't never had nothing where I found out that I was recorded. Mm. That's sneaky, man. You ever okay? You ever, you ever had a time where like a girl told you like, oh yeah, this isn't a problem, but then like later on they get in an argument and then she starts talking about you like, oh, so it was a problem. And the whole time you said it wasn't a problem. Exactly. They hate your whole life. <laughs> I hated my whole life at the boardwalk. They don't like, they don't like when Gavin have fun. Stalk my whole life at the whole boardwalk. Every, every time they see Gavin having fun, what do they do? They stop it. They hate. Why do not want Gavin to have fun? So, so I'm going to be on the fun train, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to have fun out here. Oh, uh, man. Jeezy out here trying to have, I mean, you know, people out here trying to have fun, too. But comment down below about this Jeezy and Jeannie Maya situation. I'm pretty sure this situation is going to continue going. But I know who didn't have fun. Who? Diddy. Oh, Diddy was having too much fun. Mm. Bill Cosby? No, D- Cosby's free. He's got the J E L L O coming out. Megan Thee Stallion? Pook to the low. You, He's I, not having fun. So we about to end this. We got to end this clip, and you finna end it with a pookie low disc. I just said he's not having fun. <laughs> I, I would. I don't know what. I don't think it's it's fun. It's right his now. cousin. Oh, R P. You don't care. Brick squad, baby. <laughs> hey, this guy's crazy. No, um, I'm just kidding. We just like to troll a little bit. We just like a little troll. Apologies. Trailer. Exactly. We, uh, we don't have an apologies button. No, we don't. But come oh, down. Here we go. There you go, JC. Cry about it. Comment down below how you feel about this whole Genie My Jeezy situation. Do you feel like they just need to drop this, uh, just hurt and get this whole divorce over with? Stop leaking all this dirty news because at the end of the day, Genie should finna stay with the you man know anyway. Would be crazy. Is she in up with Jack Harlow? No. What about Drake? No. Future? She like him toxic. No. If uh, Gucci had someone, since Gucci's married and he can't do it. If he had someone like Wooda Kid. Wooda Kid's married. Frenchie's in jail. Walker, oh, Walker Flock is in love with a new girl. Someone from Brooklyn. Young Joey. <laughs> young Joey, where, where you at? If you're a real Brick Squad fan, you know who Young Joey is. <laughs> All right, well, that'd be crazy. Somebody come I got out. a problem while they're hating on me. <laughs> Uh, speaking of hating, man, they hating on this next topic right here. 